Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. I'd like to take a minute to sit right there and I'll tell you how I became the prince of this town called Maryland. What's up YouTube and the Monster Club? It is yours truly, the life of the party, the young go hard, the king of the club kids, the party monster. Back at it with a brand new video and as you guys can see, I am on the road, headed to my local mall to pick up my pair of the Baylor Alternate Fives. I struck out on the guaranteed ticket a couple of days ago at downtown locker room, but I got really lucky and blessed on the Foot Locker app. So, I'm headed down there right now to go pick them up. I'm super excited. This is actually the shoe that I really wanted. I actually have the original Bel Air Fives, which I'll probably show you guys in a later video. But yeah, we're headed out there right now. I'm like 10 15 minutes away and I'm gonna pick up my pair. I'm gonna give you guys a first okay. guys. So I want to know in the comment section which ant bib do you like the best? OG ant bib or the replacement? I'm gonna go OG ant bib because of that crazy dance alone. But anyway, we're at the mall. I'm about to park my car and then pick up my shoe. Okay, guys, so I'm totally curious to see what the line is gonna be looking like at all the stores. I know it was like pretty bad at the downtown locker room I went to earlier to do the guaranteed ticket, but makes sense guaranteed ticket anyway we're about to head in right now and okay guys so we're just passing the btlr out here nobody here is crazy like last week with the 12 everyone and their damn mom were out here but i don't know why i had to really have to stay at that moment but uh, we're about to go hit the foot locker i'm gonna get my shoe and head out because that must be just leave a foot locker secured the bag of course you already know what it is we're kissing boxes out here. Okay guys, I have to film one more thing for my Monday video, but other than that, it was a successful morning. I got the shoe I was looking for. I'm actually about to head home and show you guys the shoe. I haven't even seen it personally, so you guys are gonna get a general, honest reaction to me when I see them. But anyways, about to get back on the road. I actually might check out one store while I'm in the area and then head it home. Okay guys, so, I'm nearby on Marshall side side. I run in real quick, see what they got. Literally, every time I look at my Instagram, I swear there's always about two or three people posting the same. They went to a Marshall's randomly in Albuquerque, New Mexico somewhere and saw the Walk the Dog SBs for like $2. And I'm posting, should I buy them? And I'm like, that's the most annoying post. Yeah, I get it. They have dope stuff, but I don't need to see it thrown in my face every two seconds that I check my Instagram post timeline or whatever. But anyway, we're about to go in Marshalls quick and see what they got. Bro, I'm about to show you in two seconds what it looks like, but there's a longer line for Trader Joe's than there were for the Bel Air 5s. That's insane. I guess because they were raffle based, but still, like usually the resellers are out and about just waiting for people not to get their shoes. So we're about to go ahead and run the Dells because their store's closing and everything's 60 to 70 percent off so why not so i got one more stop before i head home and it's actually a little gym called uptown cheapskates they have some really dope stuff from time to time the only problem is they charge damn near whatever they want so you're not really getting a deal like for instance they'll have say the 72 and 10s but it'll be like 125 which you could probably find on goat so it is what it is Okay guys, so just leaving Uptown Cheapskates and I gotta say the dopest shoes they had in there were the Pantone 7s. They wanted $75 for them, which is about average where most used places sell their shoes for. So it's what it is. I didn't pick them up, they're like a size 13, so I couldn't do anything with them anyway. So if you ever come across a store and you're a size 13, you're in luck. But anyway, I'm about to go get something to eat and then head home. Okay guys, so the goal was to go to Chick-fil-A, but for whatever reason, ever since they reopened, their lines have been a hell along no matter when you go. I think their drive-through system is like the dumbest and worst system I've ever seen in my life, quite honestly, because of how they make you drive around and then you can pull up, but whatever, it is what it is. Thankfully, there's a Sonics in the area, so we're just gonna head there, get a Coney Island dog, Maybe a shake, some nuggets, and keep it pushing. Hey, Monster Club. It's the Party Monster here to remind you that after a long day of shopping for shoes, nothing refills me like a 
Songs, Coney Island Dog, and Tater Tots. Yeah. Okay guys, so I'm back home. I'm gonna show you what I picked up. So here we have the Jordan 5 Alternate Bel Airs. I wasn't quite sure, honestly, like if these were like a light gray or white, but these are definitely white, more like a sail white, but it is what it is. I don't care. I don't think they're a dope color. You guys can see you have your neon green laces and black laces. I'll probably do one and one on each shoe. So definitely have the pink 23 on the back. Uh, I gotta say overall, I'm probably a little bit more partial to the original Bel Airs, but these aren't bad by any means. Like these are definitely one I'm glad I have in my collection. The material is definitely different. Like the OGs are definitely more of a suede. This is like not quite a tumbled leather, but maybe more of that synthetic leather, which uh, I'm gonna be doing a full and for in-depth review on these very soon and in on foot, but just kind of wanted to give you guys my overall initial look at the shoe and my thoughts. Here's a look at the other shoe. As you guys can see, this one has the neon green 23. I don't know guys, I gotta say overall, I'm like okay with this shoe, but definitely the OG is definitely the more superior shoe. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Do you guys prefer this one or do you guys prefer the OG? Do you guys have the OGs? Where do you guys stand? It's what I wanna know. But overall, not a bad shoe. So that's going to do it for this video and my initial thoughts on the Jordan 5 Alternate Bel Air. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Definitely share it with a friend. And if you feel the vibe, hit subscribe. You guys can follow me on Twitter at PartyMonster1 and on Instagram at PartyMonster05. And until next, remember, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. Peace.